Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Andre Laurent from Diagnose. How are you today, Andre? I'm doing very well, Tracy. Andre, you have literally diehard fans, people that are following Diagnose with great interest, and you've achieved milestones as you predicted. Okay. Yes. Um, so let's start with your most recent news release, because this sounded exciting to me. You've got a three-year contract renewal with Op Optina Diagnostics. Yes. Um, so let's talk about that deal. And if you could just hit what is so exciting about uh, right. this particular renewal. Well, Optina is really, it's not a very large contract in terms of revenue. It'll probably give us $100,000 to $150,000 a year. But it's a, a small company in Quebec, in Canada. It has de is developing a very fancy, very high resolution camera that would be sold uh, for research centers and in, uh, mainly in hospitals uh, where they can afford it. Uh, but they were looking for a partner to help them uh, market this thing faster because we have the platform. Uh, our telemedicine platform is approved in Canada and the US and other parts of the world. So, I, you know, he came to me and I said, sure, I'll give you a hand. And uh, so he's using our entire platform. He's not using our AI because he's not there yet, but he's using, uh, he's building his physical camera and we're helping him. And uh, we're going to get, like I said, hundred to $150,000 a year, every year. And we just have... Uh, you know, to put, put him on our platform. That's it. Well, I think what you just mentioned, I mean, this is not just, I mean, you have set up the telemedicine platform in place already, but I think what I failed to mention in that question is that they have the technology for early detection of Alzheimer's. Is that not correct? Well, that's what they're working on. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to be part of that at one point when they have enough data to analyze but their goal is really to identify the Alzheimer's signs very, very early on the disease. So, of course, you've had uh, you also recently announced an MO, a memorandum of understanding with Essilor International. Would you like to talk about that for a moment? Yeah, well, that one is very exciting because we've been working on that for probably a year. So the MOU really is a document that sets the stage for a contract negotiation that has already started, by the way. And uh, to tell you a little bit about Essilor, Essilor uh, is now Essilor Luxottica. And they just acquired uh, a few weeks ago, a, the second largest uh, eye care uh, group in Europe called Grand Vision. Now the merger is now approved and, and, uh, and it's on its way to be done. At the end of the day, they will have 15,000 stores, okay? And we're actually negotiating the contract on three uh, different subjects. The first one is our existing platform that they want. Number two, a specific development that they want us to do because they also manufacture cameras, fund this camera. So, uh, and, uh, so that's in the uh, MOU. And thirdly, they want access to all the new applications that we're working on, such as uh, they'll be part of our clinical trial in the US uh, on our stroke predictor. Uh, they want also access to the other uh, applications we have in terms of hypertension, uh, also a glaucoma and so forth. So for me, it's a very, very big partner. And uh, I, I expect that the contract will be signed in the next 30 days. Okay, well, that is exciting. Um, and further to that, you also announced a pilot with Opticalia in yes. Spain. Did I pronounce that properly? This is where yes. you correct me, Andre? No, this is very good. Yes. Opticalia is a, is a, uh, a group of uh, people in, um, in Spain that actually developed a turnkey approach to start a optometry store. Okay. So they actually provide everything, the equipment, the, the, the staff, uh, the, the logistics, the paint, the, everything. But they are now up to more than a thousand franchisees in their banner. So uh, the good news is that we did uh, one store, then we did a second and a third and a fourth, and we did a fifth one a few weeks ago. And now we're talking about doing another five. So it's a, uh, a, um, a business for, uh, for us that will grow slowly, but will grow for a long term. Uh, so, and they have a thousand franchisees. They're actually doing uh, press conferences next week. They're, they're very excited about the AI part of what we provide to them. It'll be a very big opportunity if this uh, pandemic can get under control. It's going to actually accelerate. So uh, we're very, I'm very pleased with this. Uh, can you give us a growth update? Because yes. I know you were expanding your team at some kind of miraculous rate when we spoke last. What's happening yes, so, with that? 
But one thing that's very important is uh, the deal that we signed with um, a New Look in Canada. So just to uh, tell you about New Look. So New Look has 407 stores in Canada. They have 12 in the US. They're actually gonna acquire another two to 300 stores in the next uh, three months. And we have actually started deploying the solution, uh, our solution in their stores last week. So we, uh, there was a small delay because we had to change the interface to the optometrist, but it's all done, it's in production. And uh, right now, I think we've done over 10 stores. It's gonna continue like that. We're gonna do 20, 25 stores. And when, then we're gonna monitor all the small details around uh, the implementation, the, the, the medical protocols, the letter that goes out to the doctors and so forth, because the optometrist will become a hub, like a clinical hub. So, uh, you know, we expect that they're going to change from being an eyewear provider to an eye care provider, but really caring in the medical sense and not in an optometry sense. And uh, we have the support of everybody in the organization. I had lunch with the CEO last uh, Friday, and uh, we both uh, agreed that we're going to meet uh, you know, every three weeks to make sure we're all up to date. And he wants to deploy the solution faster. And uh, so we're all going to go on that. And you're going to see revenue showing up and it start growing slowly because we're going to do one store at a time. We have no choice. And, uh, but the nice thing is we have growth for the next two years here. Uh, just with that client. So in terms of being cash flow positive, we need to get to 160 stores. So there's 407 to do today. When we get to 160, we're cash flow positive. Okay. Well, that sounds very exciting to me. And of course, you've continued to show a pattern of exponential growth. Dare I, I, I don't, with all of those updates, dare I ask you, what we should anticipate in this upcoming quarter, other than we're looking for cash flow positive. That's exciting. Yeah, cash flow positive will be there by our last quarter. Right now, we're doing the installations, we're signing more business. We're actually creating the volume for our next fiscal year. Our next fiscal year is going to be extremely uh, important for everybody because we're going to be very, very profitable. We're going to have a, a great, uh, incredible growth over this year. And right now, what we're doing is we're signing the contracts, we're installing the equipment. Uh, we're working with the uh, the clients to get things organized and so forth. It takes a little bit of time, but but it's it's good because the contracts are solid. They're multi-year contracts also. New look, seven year. Uh, we're going to announce another one in the next few days. You're going to see. And, and so, uh, yeah, this week we have two press releases because we don't hold press releases back. As, as we sign the business, we announce them and, and we grow. So neat thing is we're doing longer contracts. We're installing everything. And our big year is going to be next year. It's going to be incredible. You know, Andre, thank you so much for that dynamic update. And can I just say, as someone who, you know, invests in the stock market on a regular basis, I, I love what you just said. You put news releases as you out as you sign contracts. What a wonderful model. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for joining us today, Andre. We look forward to regular updates from Diagnose. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Have a great day.